In Baltimore tonight, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and Navy Salvage Team are working together to clear debris so the port can reopen after that deadly bridge collapse on Monday. New video sent to us by the Department of Defense shows dive crews getting ready to jump into the water and using sonar to look for any submerged vehicles and other debris that needs to be moved. The bridge collapsed after a cargo ship hit a pillar. The NTSB says the investigation into the incident could take up to two years. Today, the Baltimore Orioles honored the police officers who shut down traffic to the bridge before it collapsed. That was amazing, saving so many lives. And News Nation's Alex Capriello joins us now live from Baltimore. Uh, Alex, tell us, what, what have we learned new today? Well, Brian, I can tell you the NTSB has been on board that vessel all day long. What they are doing right now is interviewing the 23 crew members that were on that board, 21 of them, which belonged to the ship, two of them, which were pilots helping them navigate out of the channel. They've essentially been quarantined on that ship since it crashed into the bridge early Tuesday morning. And the whole goal here is to get their own personal testimonies and get their actual stories on the record so that way it can be paired with the recording device, the black box that's on that ship that helps us build a sort of timeline on those crucial minutes before it actually crashed into the bridge. Let's take a look at that timeline together because it's going to piece together those minutes. At 1.25 in the morning, alarms could be heard going off all across the ship. One minute later, you can hear the captain and the pilots giving directives to try to right the path of the ship since it was off course. About 30 seconds after that, a series of mayday distress calls went out. That's what actually alerted the authorities on the ground and on that bridge to stop the traffic. 30 seconds after that, an order to drop anchor, but as we know, it was just far too late for that. 30 seconds later, the ship loses all power. And then just a minute and a half later, 90 seconds only, 90 seconds for those first responders to get everyone off that bridge, that's when the actual collision occurs. We know what happens after that, that dramatic video of the bridge collapsing just within seconds and, of course, sending eight members of that work crew down to the ground, two of them surviving, six of them either dead or unaccounted for at this moment. Yeah, it's still amazing to me that, that the police were able to get there in 90 seconds and stop some of the cars from going over the bridge. You imagine how much worse this could be. Uh, and I noticed in the video from right after it happened, you could see that the anchor was down on the ship, which after you went over that timeline right. makes more sense. They were obviously right. trying to slow it down. Officials, you said, moving from recovery to salvage mode. Any idea how long all this will take? Because obviously it's a very important port there. Well, everyone is saying we must practice patience because it is going to take a long time. And I'm glad that you brought up salvage mode because you can actually see it in the process right now. If we zoom all the way in, if you look very closely, you'll notice a crane that's actually there in the water. That is a floating barrier that the U.S. Navy and the Army Corps of Engineers are using and the barges that they are going to disassemble what they're calling now a superstructure. Think about all the debris that's in there. It's not just the bridge itself and the twisted metal that's in the water, but also the ship the concrete that came off the bridge, the vehicles that dropped down into the water, and the containers, some of them which are still on that ship, some of them which are now in the water. And so it's going to take a very long process, Brian. The NTSB says everyone must be patient. The investigation itself may not wrap up for another two years. Yeah, it certainly seems like it will take a long time. It's quite a mess out there. Alex Capriello, we appreciate the update uh, right now. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.